Let's take a look at another concept here in regards to evaluating a formula. Now Excel, you type a formula in, and as soon as you hit your enter key, Excel evaluates the formula. Done. Gives you a result. Sometimes the result is what you're looking for. Other times, you might run into errors, okay? or at least what Excel feels like is an error. So we're going to take a look at here using the evaluate command to look for errors. Take a look. So open in front of you, I've got the same example file. I'm looking at the formula errors worksheet. Now on here, I've got a little sales table. I've got some total sales. I've got a code which relates to this commission table down below, ties each of the employees to a specific commission rate. And I've got their total commission based on their total and their commission rate, uh, their, their percentage rate. And then I've got a percentage. I want to know what each user's total, let's see, I gotta remember this one. Yeah, what their total is of the grand total. Does that sound familiar? We did that one earlier. So I wanna look at these errors that we're getting. So for this total commission column, I'm using a VLOOKUP. I'm looking at E3 here and I'm using a VLOOKUP function. This VLOOKUP is taking this value right here, D3, right there, taking that one, and it's gonna go search something called COM table. Now COM table is the name of this table right here. I just gave that a name, remember name ranges? So now I'm referencing this table, and it says, okay, I'm gonna take this one, D3, and I'm gonna go search this table. So it's searching vertically through this first column, it's looking for one. If it finds a match, then I tell it to return the second column inside the commission table. So in this case, it's gonna return a 1%. So we take that 1% that the VLOOKUP finds and returns, and we multiply it by C3, by the total sales, which gives us that individual's commission. So H. James, 36,245 with the code of number one, which matches a 1%, gets $362.45. It's a nice chunk of change. Now, the second one here, I'm getting an error. I'm getting the pound NA error. And if I click on this little this little sign here, this little pop-up, it tells me, oh, value not available error. So something's up. And all I did was just copy that down, right? Or maybe I rekeyed it by hand. There's something wrong with this formula though. If I click into there, we could dig through the formula, we could try to figure out what's going on inside there, but something's not right. And I wanna figure out what's going on in there. Now, evaluating for formulas, we're gonna use the evaluate formula command that we used in the prior video. Sometimes they're not the easiest thing to spot though. Let's try this one. So I'm gonna click on that error, E4. I'm gonna to go to my formulas tab, and I'm gonna go over to the evaluate formula command. All right, here we go. So in the evaluate formula window, we can see that it's gonna evaluate D4. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and evaluate. All right, I found a number five in there. Number five inside of D4. Now it's gonna go search the COM table. All right, COM table is B10 to C14. B10 down to C14 is this table right here. All right, now it's gonna evaluate the rest of the VLOOKUP. I'm gonna go ahead and evaluate. Oh, there's my error. So something about the VLOOKUP has caused an error. It's not within the math, it's not within the whatever value the VLOOKUP returns times the C4, that's not the issue, but it's something inside the VLOOKUP. So now I've narrowed the scope. Why is this error happening? Well, it's happening for some reason, but it's happening within the VLOOKUP table. Now typically, an NA result within a VLOOKUP means that it was not able to find the lookup value. In this case, D4, it wasn't able to find it down here inside the table. Well, K Don's commission code is a five. There is no five. Hence the reason why it returned an NA. It's not available, not there. If, let's close this, if I were to change K Dunn's to a four, then I get a proper result back. Five just didn't exist, wasn't available, so it returned that error back to me. 
All right, there's one. Let's look at another one. Here I got a pound name error, another very common error within Excel. I'm going to evaluate this one. Let's go ahead and go to evaluate formula. All right, so first step is going to evaluate D5, which is L carries uh, commission code. All right, and found a two. Now it's going to evaluate COM table. Let's evaluate that. Oh, there's the error. Spotted it right there. COM table. Well, let's get back in there. So the error's happening as it's referencing this table right here. If I get back in there again, let's go ahead and evaluate. All right, COM table. COM table. Well, if I go to this table, this table is actually called COMM table. COMM. Here, I put the formula in and I misspelled the name of that table or the range. So if I put another M in there, COMM table, hit my enter key, got the proper result. This is it. I'm evaluating formulas, watching it step by step, helping me understand formulas a little bit clearer, but also helping me find errors and evaluating for those errors within my formulas. Dissect it, take it apart, get in there, fix your calculations. I'm going to leave the rest up to you. There's two more errors here. It's actually four errors, but we're getting two error messages, div slash zero errors or divide by zero errors. I want you to fix those. Right? Get in there, evaluate it, figure out what's going on wrong in here. Once you figure that out, Again, jump back to the Q&A section of the course. Take a screenshot. Let us know what you found. Leave some feedback inside there. Evaluate your formulas. Find those errors. Even if you got coworkers sending you documents, something's wrong with their documents, get in there, evaluate it, figure out what's going wrong, and fix it. Try it out. Evaluate your errors. Evaluate your formulas. G'day, it's John Michalus here, the Chief Inspirational Officer and Founder at MyExcelOnline.com and I hope that you enjoyed this video that we just showed you. If you did, then give it a thumbs up. It just lets us know to create more of the same Excel videos for you so you can get better at Excel. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get new Excel videos each and every week. And Finally, we want you to join our flagship online Excel course. It's called the My Excel Online Academy. And you get all of our Excel courses. You get our Excel beginner, intermediate, and advanced courses. We go through over 500 Excel videos, which teach you formulas, macros, VBA, pivot tables, Power BI, Power Query, Power Pivot, charts, formatting, access, and much more because we add new videos each and every month. You also can download all our Excel workbooks and keep so you can practice and you also get a certificate of course completion. Plus, you're going to get six bonuses when you sign up to our academy course. You get our dedicated teacher support. You get access to all our Excel webinars. You get quarterly live Q and A's. You can join our private Facebook group. You also join our private Excel forum. And we're also going to mail out to you an exclusive Academy welcome pack. So if you want to get better at Excel and stand out from your peers and stand out from the crowd so you can get noticed by top management and receive the promotions and pay rises that you deserve, then click below in the description and join the My Excel Academy online course so you can get better at Excel today.